Call that moped racing. And what does it have to do with you? Not really anything, but at least I got your attention and I got you thinking about mopeds. Because today I'm here to talk to you about them. We all as college students we want to become independent, but yet we all don't know the steps to becoming fully independent. But one of the steps that we can use is to get a vehicle. Today I want to talk to you about why you should get for your first vehicle a Honda moped over any other kind of vehicle to use at college. Now you ask yourself, why would I listen to me? Well, I am an avid moped rider and have been doing so for three years. So today, I want to persuade you about why you should buy one of three kinds of Honda mopeds and back it up with information about why it is cost effective and extremely practical. So first off, we must begin with the basics. The DSA guide to riding states that the main physical difference between a moped and a motorcycle is that a moped, you don't have to manually shift gears while you ride. Also, mopeds mostly come with engine sizes less than 250 cubic centimeters. So, when you look at Honda's motorsports uh, brochure, you see the following. Honda has three different categories of mopeds, or three different engine sizes. The first, being 50 cubic centimeters, is the smallest and cheapest a moped that Honda sells. It can propel you up to 42 miles per hour. The next step up is the 80 cubic centimeter engine size, which basically doesn't give you a speed boost as much as it gives you a power boost. It makes it so you and one other person can go up to 46 miles per hour. And on top of that all, Honda sells their biggest mo moped, which, is at, which has a 250 cubic centimeter engine which basically gives you freeway use. So, now that you know basically what I'm proposing to you, one of these three mopeds, let's do some sleuthing about what this is going to cost you. New vehicles are an extremely, extremely uh, engaging opportunity for many people because you get a warranty and you get extremely good durability for the first few years <coughs> of the vehicle's life. So, let's do a comparison. In the Honda lineup for 2007, the brochure states that the, Honda two, the 2007 Honda Civic DX, which is their cheapest car, has a retail price of $15,000. However, the Honda Motorsports brochure states that the Honda 2007 Honda Elite 80, which is an 80cc moped, has a retail price of $2,400. It's a lot cheaper. Now you may be wondering to yourself, well, what about a used car? Many people like used cars. Well, I did some sleuthing on my own and got on Craigslist.org and looked up a Honda Civic. And I found a 1999 Honda Civic LX with 180,000 miles on it going for about 5,500 bucks. That's still almost twice as much as the retail price of the moped. Sounds cheap. Well, also you have to consider the gas mileage. Gas mileage is going to accumulate over time. Well, the Honda Civic gets 30 miles to the gallon, but the Honda Moped gets 100 miles to the gallon. That's over three times as, min as much gas mileage. And if you don't believe me, I have a scan here of my last receipt at the Corvallis Shell Gas Station when I filled up the moped. You can see it cost me all of $2.74 to fill up the moped. That amount of gas will go for almost an entire week of riding around campus and into town. The next thing you must consider when purchasing anything is insurance. Insurance is a big factor and will also add up over time. So I got on Progressive.com and looked up insurance rates for the Honda Civic on my, for me and the moped for me. The Honda Civic for me would cost me $177 per month. That adds up to about $920 a year. <laughs> On the other hand, the Honda moped for me would cost a meager $6.25 per month, the yearly total being $75. That's less than half of a monthly payment for the Honda Civic. 
Sounds cheap. Well, on top of the insurance rates, um, this, is an in, this is the image of the $75 insurance quote from Progressive, if you don't believe me. But on top of insurance rates, whenever you bring a vehicle to campus, you must also remember that you have to pay for the parking pass. The parking pass for a vehicle on comp campus this year is about $150. The parking pass for a motorcycle on campus or moped is $50 for a year. So, now you have a bright, shiny new moped, gas saver, extremely light on the wallet. Well, what else could there possibly be that's better than what I've just told you? Well, there's more. A moped is extremely practical for anything you do at college, whether it be in campus, in town, or going home. In campus, that $50 motorcycle parking permit you bought, that parking permit gives you access to staff parking, most of the staff parking areas. The OSU campus map on the website states that there are over 35 different motorcycle parking areas on campus, and most of them are next to important buildings and all the residence halls. Now, what if you want to go into town? Say you took a walk to Winco one day. It's going to take you 45 minutes to walk from campus to Winco. On a moped, it would take you 10 minutes or less. Plus, the moped would allow you to carry more items, which, gives, which makes it so that you don't have to go to the store as often. And then finally, what about going home? Well, basically anything's possible. The 250 cubic centimeter moped that I said earlier was freeway legal, and therefore you can take it basically anywhere. But what about the smaller ones? Well, the smaller mopeds are country road legal, and so therefore anywhere the country roads go in Oregon, you can go on the moped. So, in conclusion, I'm kind of sad because I'm not going to be able to sit here and talk to you more about the wonderful benefits of owning a moped. What you have learned today is that the moped is for everyone, and that it's a cost-effective and practical use at college, at college when you compare it to any, uh, any other motorized vehicle. So what do I want you to do here today? I want you to go out and buy a moped when you're ready to become independent and have a vehicle at college. And so I want to leave you here today with a quote from Dr. Seuss from one of his books. And he said, congratulations, today is the day. You're going great places and you're on your way. You got brains in your head and feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know and you're the guy who will decide where to go.